Hey, what's up, everyone? Happy Monday evening to you all. Welcome to the stream. The final, uh, final stream here on PTCGO, which is making me a little sad. You know, we're getting close to the, the date. We're like 20 days away from the shutdown. So we're going to kind of change up how we do things here on the stream um, on the YouTube channel as well. I'm not sure exactly how well some of this stuff will port over to that, but, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes. We're going to play it by ear, you know. Our hand has been forced, and so we will make the best of what we got. So we got some sweet things coming today. Uh, first off, let me go ahead and change my capture to my screen. Uh, there we go. My entire display window here. Um, coming up, Next Monday, that's going to be May 22nd, Weeder and I are going to start doing uh, GLC Versus. So we're going to take the colorless deck with all the band talk that's been going on. I mean, I can't, it's hard to open up a Discord channel without someone complaining about colorless Archeops here and there. And so Weeder and I are going to put the colorless Archeops archetype to the test. We're going to pair it up against some of the best decks in the format to see, is it band worthy? I mean, we're not going to answer that question for real, but we're going to kind of play through it and kind of discuss what we see from the deck, maybe show people ways to beat it so it becomes a little bit less uh, of the boogeyman of the format, and that might be our goal going into this. Either way, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited um, to see what ends up happening with this this GLC versus series. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. So we're going to play a list. I think we're going to start with Andrew Costello's list that won a, a tournament recently. I saw that list and I was like, that's a pretty sweet list. So we're definitely going to try it out. Um, so anyway, that's coming up. That's going to start on Monday. I'm excited about it. It's going to be webcam. Obviously, we can't, we're not going to be doing PTCGO anymore. So we're going to try it on webcam and see how it goes. I'm not sure how much editing that's going to involve for me. I'm not much of an editor, so we'll see how it goes with that. Um, obviously, it's not going to be you know tricky gym uh, quality. Um, Mahone is so good at what he does so you know make sure you're you're checking out his content as well but we're going to keep trying out and, and weeder is here today too excited to see him finally catching the live stream um anyway we're going to play some fairy today we're going to have a fairy farewell to ptcgo we're going to be playing um Something I've played before. I don't think we get to see him much on stream. He's building a deck right now, Ghost X Empire. So we're going to be playing the Fairy deck, and this is Watto's list. And he just wrote um, an article kind of talking about his Turbo Fairy deck. So if you like the deck that you're seeing today, check out his article on CardboardWarriors.net. It is a good read about an awesome deck. Um, and let's get into the deck, because I haven't played much Fairy. Um, but I am excited to. I ran a couple of hands earlier, and I was like, this deck is sweet. Um, we are obviously not master pros like our friend over there, um, but we're going to do our best with it and see what we got going on here. Um, all right, let's talk about the list. All right, this is sweet. Uh, first off, disclaimer, love fairy, love fairy Pokemon cannot, will not tell you to play the deck. Um, fairy Pokemon are no longer being printed in the format anymore. No more TCG printings of fairy Pokemon. So the only cards you have to pick from are the cards that have already been printed, and there was just a limited printing of them anyway. Um, so there's not a lot of good stuff here to really, really talk about. It's Big on support, low on attack. Um, and this is what Watto has put together, and he has had some killer um, you know, overall standings and win percentages with this deck. Um, and he is a true master of the fairy. We are not quite there, but we'll hopefully get a chance to showcase what the deck is like. Um, there are a couple more fairy variants running around. There's a lot of good fairy control decks. When you're playing in webcam, and Watto told me this while we were playing in our match, you just can't play those decks in a 45-minute best-of-one tournament and expect to do well. Most of your games will go to draws, or you won't quite find the win con that you need. So it's not really great for tournament play, and it doesn't necessarily great 
uh, create great uh, tournament experience either. So he made this Turbo Fairy list. So let's get into some of the main attackers here. Uh, Tapu Fina, uh, basic Pokemon, 120 HP. Pretty decent. Uh, this Dream Away attack, actually better than I thought. You get to flip a coin and shuffle their active and all cards attached to it into their deck. And so annoying and kind of fun. And sometimes it's only going to cost us one energy with some of the other things we have going on. Wondershine, pretty reasonable here. Um, you know, active Pokemon is confused, does 100 damage. I mean, that's about as good as a fairy attacker as you're going to find. Thanks for the follow, too, Costello. Excited to maybe play your list next week, your, um, your colorless list. Um, some other things going on over here. Besides that, we have another really good attacker here in Xerneas. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly here. Uh, lead is just a really good attack, so you're not scared or even worried if you start with this as your basic and then bright horns here 130 damage that is the highest attack you're going to get from our fairy boys here um three fairy energies it's energy cost and of course has the caveat here we can't attack next turn so you know we got to do some things to kind of make this card great but this is our most powerful attacker and we can hit up to 140 with it if we attach a fighting fury belt so those are our big basic boys on top of that we got clefable here it does 30 more damage for each of our pokemon that has any fairy energy attack so this can get pretty big um you know all things considered with some of the other things we got going on now no shortage here of support pokemon that's what these fairy guys are known for Grass fans will love this Whimsicott. It's very similar to Roserade. We evolve it from our hand. We get to search our deck for a card and put it into our hand. And we're playing some other cards that kind of make this more beneficial. I'll get into those in a second. Then we got Florigas here. Um, you know, reduces the cost of our Pokemon's attack by one Fairy Energy, which is really helpful, especially since we are trying to turbo out 100, 120 damage here and there. Um, this will be key. Watto has highlighted this card in his article as kind of the glue that holds this deck together. So this is a card we definitely want to get going early. Rare Candy is there to help us out with that. Shinodic is our search mon, another stage one here. Searches everything we've got going on. And then kind of an interesting card here, um, this Togekiss. Um, when we play it from our hand, we get to uh, we can evolve it immediately because of its Delta trait up here. Um, and we can look at the top eight cards of our deck, find basic energy, and put them on our Pokemon in any way I like. So we get to do this um, immediately after we've evolved Togetic, which is interesting. Straighten the Togeticus here. Find some basic energy. We're running 11 basic fairy energy plus one wonder energy and attach them how we see fit now to maximize that we're playing cards like devolution spray we can evolve this devolution spray and do it again to get energy up which is going to help our fables attack we can also we've got a max elixir here which is a very similar thing except instead of the top eight like togekiss it's going to do six we're also playing a scoop up net here which also works pretty well with Togekiss, where we can do it again if we need to. Again, it only takes one turn cycle, even though it's a stage two, because of its ability. So, you know, you got a lot of things like that going on that can kind of push out that energy and kind of push some big numbers. Um, some of the less familiar cards here, you got, you'll notice that our, our deck is just full of GLC staples for the most part when it comes to our trainers. But Fairy Garden might be a card you're not familiar with. Each Pokemon that has a fairy energy attached to it has no retreat cost, which comes up big time when we're playing Xerneas. We can kind of switch back and forth with that. And then, of course, Wonder Energy. Um, it prevents all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage attached to a Pokemon. So we can keep one of our bench guys safe with the Wonder Energy. You know, that's the deck. It's sweet. Obviously, it, you know... Not a lot of straightforward lines with this deck, I don't think. Like, we're going to have to maybe think through what we're going to want to do with our attackers. We're going to have to kind of think through a lot of those numbers that we want to hit, um, you know, against Torterras and the Waylords out there. Mimic you is kind of like our best bet. And again, you're going to have to do kind of some tricky things there, too. So this deck definitely, I think is a deck that benefits from a lot of knowledge of the archetype 
um, and a knowledge of your opponent's decks as well. So again, it, it seems to be the case with all decks, right? But this deck specifically, you're playing a little bit underpowered cards into a format full of broken Pokemon here and there. So you got to make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, that being said, this Mimic you are way awesome. Way, 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 way better than the Psychic, even though it has the same exact stats. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to play this deck today was just that art right there. Well, cool. That's the deck. Um, I'm excited to play it. Let's see if our opponent is ready. He might be waiting a little bit. Looking best of three of the same deck. All right. Look, we're doing best of three, same deck. You know, playing it just like we would best of three in a tournament and the like. Gonna give him a second. I think he's probably getting ready here. That being said, exciting things going on in, in my local community. We got our beers and badges events coming up on this Thursday. I'm really excited to play in that. I don't drink, but um, you know, we we meet at a local brewery and we we play some semi-competitive uh, GLC. I'm not sure what I'm gonna play this week. I think I'm gonna maybe play Grass Spread, one of my favorite decks. Um, Grass Spread. I have. Uh, the Satitan deck put together that's kind of been floating around. I'm really excited about that deck, um, too. I might end up trying that out. Um, so Satitan, Grass Spread, and of course I got my, my Hitmon Bros ready to go. I played that last time, though, so less excited to play that this time. So anyway, yeah, got that going up. That's going to be sweet. Got one this month, one next month. We got a couple of Augusta tournaments. You guys know I live in Columbia, South Carolina. Augusta's only an hour drive. They posted in the Tricky Gym Discord recently about a bonkers tournament coming up in June where they're just they're handing out prizes left and right, like the Moon Brion to first place, a box of this to second place. It's just ridiculous, the prizes that they're giving out for, um, you know, kind of a local tournament not really a 1k or anything like that i'm sure the, the prizes might equal up to about a thousand dollars but it's just insane what they got going on there so if you're in the augusta area you know check out that that's that's just great great i love that glc is really really growing in our area yeah i'm, I'm excited i don't know if i'll get to go to the june 10th one we might be in wisconsin I'm definitely going to the one not this weekend but next weekend but those people in Augusta know how to put on a good tournament, so I'm really excited to go there. So, here we go. All right. I think our opponent might be a little sad that we are maybe playing fairy. But let's get into it. I'm excited about this. I wonder what he's playing. Ghost X Empire is our opponent. Oh, love the coin. All right, we won the flip. All right, fairy deck. I think I want to go second. No. I think that's what Watto told me. I'm kind of leaning heavily into him. Uh, gosh, not the best of starts for our Pokemon. I, th I think we lead with Togepi here. It could be wrong. Let's save that. I think if the Togepi is kiss goes we're not like too sad about it oh all our stuff is resistance to dark i didn't realize that that's kind of a sweet reason to play fairy now that i think about it like dark decks are pretty sweet the fact that we're resistant to dark uh obviously hoping not to get you know just murdered here by one of these spirit tombs or hoopas um so i think I mean, we have bridget here right um, Bridget's pretty good. Um, this Parallel City is probably not super great against the Dark deck, right? Do I want to, like, quick ball it away? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right? Maybe in a competent player's hands. We're going to have to figure out what we're doing here. Um, this Xerneas seems, like, just broken to start out with, like... It's gonna, we're going to have the Fighting Fury Belt in our hand, too. Uh, we want the Flababy probably going, too. We want to get that like online, like ASAP. 
We have them Shinodic in our deck, but we don't have a way to search it because of the uh, 90 HP, but we probably want to get this Cottony because we can get the Whimsicott, and the Whimsicott can get a Shinodic, and we can start searching up our Mon. So I think this is what I want to do here um, for now. I don't really want to use this Quick Ball. I don't really see a purpose. We can kind of wait on it. Let's bench this. I think I want to retreat this Togepi. Uh, I just don't really know if I care too much. We have to draw another energy, too. Um, I think so. Let's just protect the Togepi. The Togekiss is pretty instrumental into our game plan. So let's just do this. If our opponent Marnies us or something like that or makes us shuffle our hand, we'll, we'll get more cards. So we could save the level ball for Whimsicott. We might end up going to get like a Cynthia or something instead or a Professor's Research just to draw more cards in the hand. Xerneas is basically going to take like nothing from the Spirit Tomb too, right? Like... What is it at right now? I mean, it's gonna maybe sting a little bit. Classic Dark Stark, two Pokemon down, 17 cards in their hand. Not a lot going on beyond that. I really wish Dark had some like better support Pokemon. The Leopard is, is pretty busted. Um, they're not getting a coughing. We definitely are an abilities deck, so we are sad to see the coughing. And they did put the Spirit Tomb up. Are they going to retreat it for the coughing? Okay. Resistance. That's good. All right. In's pretty good here. In might change what we do. Because they got six cards in hand. Um, so let's level ball. Let's go get the Whimsicott. I think we Whimsicott here and go get the Shenetic and just kind of get a search in for some of our other Mons. Let's Shenetic here. Let's do this. Let's get the Togetic. I think the Togetic is going to get us online faster, I think, than the Florgus. Because next turn we can evolve it. Do I want to get like a Mimic U? Like the Mimic U isn't going to be super great at any point. Maybe a Guzzlord, so maybe later on the game. So maybe I want to save it. So do we just play the Pearl City? Or do I want to burn the Quick Ball? Because what else do I want? You know, if we hit the, the Togekiss next turn and we just go insane, I think we are going to want the Tapu Fini. So let's get that. Play that, and let's go inning. Okay. So now we can rare candy into the Florgus. That's pretty sweet. So I think what we did last turn was just great. And we can lead here. I guess, like, this Hoopa can kill it, right? Um... The Hoopa can kill it. So do I want to put the Whimsicott out to protect? That might be better than getting a supporter. I think so. I mean, like, there's so many things our opponent can do to disrupt us. So it's definitely dead from this, because Roman Resistance is at 70 plus 60. So I do think we Fairy Garden, and then now we can retreat into Whimsicott. And then we just say go. I feel like that's, again, like, kind of like the safe line there. Shinodic is going to search us up exactly what we need next turn. So, like, don't want to don't wanna put any pressure on ourselves. The Weezing can go out. Do these have weakness to fairy? They have weakness to fighting. Weakness to grass. I mean, dark weakness makes no sense sometimes. Like, why Why is Hoopa weak to grass? Why are, are dark Pokemon weak to grass? It makes no sense to me. All right, there's N. So we're losing some of our cards. That's okay. I'm still happy with what we did. 
Ooh, the cat's got free retreat here. There's a timer ball too, so timer ball and max elixir. Let's hope we get. I hate timer ball so much, but I'm hoping we get a decent, uh, a decent hit off of that. All right, building sprite. All right, nothing has free retreat right now, right? Nothing has free retreat. Kind of, yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, oh gosh, I don't know what we have here. So let's put up Xerneas and let's see what ends up happening here. There's the Guzzlords down. All right, let's timer ball. Tails, heads. So we can get the Togekiss. Um, let's evolve here. Yes, we are going to randomly take their ball guy and throw it back in their deck. Let's Togekiss. Yes, we find an energy. Um, I think we want to put all the energies. Let's max elixir here. We find one. We can put it there. So Colrus is going to draw us seven. Yeah, I want a Colrus. Thank you very much, please. Da, 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 da. So many things. Um, well, there's Clefairy. Clefairy is a pretty sweet draw. Um, let's go on our deck and see what we got. So there's the Florgas. Let's go ahead and search it out. Mimic you is in here then, right? So I'm okay waiting on that. Let's Bright Horns. Let's take that. This deck is dope. There's so many awesome lines to it. Again, I deck needs like Watto needs to be streaming this. Like he needs to be the one who's familiar with the lines and the matchups. Here I am trading for the cards last night, being like, you know, it would be a good way to end the stream or in the PTC at Geo segment of the stream, playing Fairy. So, like, without ever picking up the deck, ran through a couple of lines yesterday and was just like, yeah. But I bet Watto is just such a pro at this. He knows exactly what to do. Hey, thanks, Super Mateo, for the follow. I appreciate it. We are. The channel is growing, and PTC Geo is going away. So sad. Um, now, like, Florgus is coming down. Our attacks are going to cost, um, you know, one fairy energy less, which makes Tapu Fini able to attack for 100 and Confusion next turn. Um, so there's a little bit of poison. We have to retreat this anyway. Wim's body, dude, he's pretty good. Um... So I don't know if our opponent really expects us to be, like, attacking right now. Um, it's like, I kind of love what's happening. So let's scoop up net this. Just kind of deny a knockout. Let's put up the Tapu Fini. Do this. Um, we know Mimic U is in here. I think I'd rather have the Heavy Ball in the deck, or would I rather have Mimic U back in my deck? I think I'd rather have Mimic U because we have the Nest Ball here. So let's just get Mimic U. I know there's no spot on our bench, but... And then do I want a Marnie to draw? I mean, I guess we're not doing much else, right? Like, what else can we do except maybe Devolve Togekiss? Um, like, in our hand, our opponent's hands doesn't seem super strong over there. I don't think I'm Marnie. You know what? Oh, I'm so back and forth on this. None of these cards are great, right? None of these cards are really great in my hand anyway. Let's Marnie. Now we're giving our opponent one more card over there. Well, we, we got the Devolution Spray, so we're a little bit rewarded here. And we got a Versus Seeker too, so we could like Colrus or something here. So let's do this. This is like one of my favorite things to do ever. And just redo it again. Let's let's hopefully hit. Oh, did we not hit anything? What did I miss there? I wonder if we just didn't find any cards and just didn't let us know. Sag. Um, oh, Weezing's ability. You're right, you're right. So we are then an energy short. So we can dream away. Let's hope for the heads here. Ah, oh, tails. Ah, 
Weezing. Oh, Galarian Weezing. Such a reasonable card. Was good next turn with a, with a rope. Yeah. We could have roped and done it. That was definitely the correct play. We also have boss here, so like we could we can definitely boss something next turn. I like Fairy Garden. I kinda want it back. Like I wonder if I should be playing like a Lusamine if if Owato has considered that. There's trade going from the Leopard. We would love to boss that up and kill that if we get a chance. This is almost assuredly coming into attack. The Guzzlord is lurking. You know, we have resistance, but we're real tiny over here. Sitting at 100 HP, 110, 110. There's Guzma. I mean, I, I kind of like what just happened here. Still resistant, so I don't think we're dead. Um, do we just gust up the the Guzzlord, maybe? I know we can't kill it, right? But, like, four retreat costs. They just used a Guzma. The Bird Keepers have been used. We can kind of go ahead and knock it out the way. Although, I do want to get rid of their draw ability, too. Um, and we can always Versus Seeker again. This is just sweet. We can just, like, Versus Seeker to get Lysander back and just repeat the process if we need to because we know Galarian Weezing is going to be in the way. So let's um, escape rope first to get our Tapu Fini out. We know they're probably going to go with their Weezing. Hand is, hand is tiny, so I feel like going after the Leopard is the correct thing. They haven't played an Energy in a while. Far from this Guzzlord. Um, they put that out. That's interesting. I don't think we have anything, but we might as well look. We have the Mimikyu. Let's grab the Mimikyu. Just get out of our deck so we're not drawing it next turn. I guess we could burn this to 16 cards in deck to their 30. I think we probably want to keep it for now. All right. The Togekiss is sweet, dude. The Togekiss is sweet. There's Field Blower. That's going to come in handy at some point. Yeah, that the Delta ability here. You might have this card from your hand during your first turn or the turn you play that Pokemon. Watu knew what he was doing when he put this deck together. All right, there's Rescue Stretcher. Shuffling all the boys back in. I think it was right. There's Cynthia. So they had the draw card. I still think it was right to go after the Cynthia. Level Ball might be getting Spirit Tomb back. Might be going for the Cat again. Get their draw back going. Okay, there's the Purloin. Another energy on the Guzzlord. And here's Severe Poison. Alright, we'll we get Raihan here. So not dead next turn. Not dead next turn. Do they have the double colorless energy? Because that's what's really scary here. Is if they have the double colorless energy. Um, tough turn. We are going to get an attachment from Raihan if it does die. And we'll get our Xerneas going. But do I want to go for the Purloin or do I want to go for the Guzzlord here? I think the Guzzlord is the answer. I've used a Rescue Stretcher. They got Clara, right, in their deck. They still got 27 cards to look at. I'm not too concerned about the Hoopa. I think, let's just... 
I don't want to say bait them, but like if this dies, we're not too worried, I don't think. Lysander into that. And this will die, right? So it dies, and we don't get the Raihan if it dies of poison. Maybe that was a bad play. Could like hope for the dream away, but I think it's probably just better to do this. There's the 40. We're kind of energy short, which is weird because the deck is all about that. We missed. I'm trying to think if we missed. Obviously, we made that misplay with the Togekiss um, into the Guzzlord. There's the, the double energy, right? So now they have to get through the. Uh, the what's it called? The confusion. If they don't switch and then do it. So let's hope. I mean, either way, there's the heads, there's the attack. So now we get to use Raihan. So we're hoping to get an energy here. We can go get an energy, right? There, there's an energy. So turns out it's pretty good. I guess we could have got, we could have played Mimic U first, right? And then Mimic U takes two prizes. Um, what do I want? I think I want to grab a Guzma. Uh, yeah, I think I want to grab the Guzma here. Let's play the Mimic U, and then let's just Bright Horns here for 130. Get back even on prizes. There's a heavy ball. Love to draw another energy if we can. If we draw another energy, we can Guzma. It depends on what they do. Okay, there's the Florgus. There's Air Balloon to the Zorua. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And here comes the Severe Poison attack. Um, okay. Let's Field Blower. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Um... I think we do just Guzma here, right? And maybe we put out the Leopard. I don't think we can Xerneas, right? Because it attacked last turn. So let's Leopard. Let's do this. All right. Oh, we can use that attack. That's pretty bonkers. Happy, happy, happy to see that. Um, all right, let's Bright Horns. Take some stuff. Take another prize. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm maybe a little surprised at how well the fairy deck is, is doing right now. Obviously, weakness plays a big role in this matchup. There's Lysander. Okay. Lysander again. Putting out the Florgus. All right. Another 40. I don't know if we care too much about this, right? And there's Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper was a pretty good draw. Uh, Ordinary Rod. It's pretty good, right? Because we can get Whimsicott cut back. Our opponent's saying, well played. So do I want Whimsicott or do I want Tapu Fini? I think I want Tapu Fini instead. We definitely want the energies, though. Do both. Give me... Yeah, we'll put the Cottony back anyway, just in case. Give me them double energies. Deck is good. Take care of the glaring wheezing. We still need to find a way to finish out the next turn, right? Because this can't attack. So the mimic you can attack for one energy, though. A copycat attack, depending on what our opponent tries to do. I don't have anything with abilities. I wonder what Sneasel they're playing. Uh, or Weavile. What Weavile they're playing. Alright, there's Dark Claw. 
They're playing the one I thought they were. 50 damage for each of our opponent's abilities. So we got, what, one, two, three? So 150 here. And there's a teammate's card. Obviously, our mimic you on the kickback will not do as much. There's an ability. Uh, what does this do again? Does 30 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon? So, Copycat doesn't work super well there, does it? Um, does anything have free retreat here? No, nothing has free retreat. Um, I mean, I guess we Copycat and we can pitch in for some damage here. Um, Alright, Super Rod... I think we want to go all the energies back. And I think we want to do this. Let's get Tapu Fini. We got his Dream Away. That seems pretty fun. Uh, I mean, do I want to attach an energy here? I don't think so. Copycat's only going to do 70 damage, and then we die on the kickback, and then we can kill it. So I think I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then, is there anything I want to do? I don't think I want to Sycamore, but all these cards are basically worthless in my hand. So let's Sycamore and see what we get. There's all the energy we'd ever need. And then let's Copycat. For 70. Again, should put us about, you know, this kills, I think, now. Alright, this doesn't get boosted. This is just boosted damage, right? So, this should kill. This plus like a Raihan. There's Clara. Interesting. Loving this Mimic you. Okay, there's coughing and there's uh, wheezing. I don't know if they do much. Glarian Moltres is pretty good, though. That might lose us the game, right? That's so good. Um... Oh, man, we really needed something with free retreat here, didn't we? Because stretch or copycat, right? But then we need a way to retreat, and we just don't have the way to retreat. I don't know if we have the way to retreat in our deck. Scoop up net. We've used Versus Seeker. Um... There, there is no float stone. So, I do think we rescue Stretcher. Still. Um, 270. Nothing's really living through that, right? Do we hope to just dream away this? Like, I think that is our only because we only have five cards in the deck, right? So like nothing is really getting us out of here. We can search our deck. Let's look what's in our deck. Um, no. All right. So we are hoping to dream away. And we're dead. Well played. I think that was our out. Obviously, I think we could have played maybe a little bit better on some of the different turns, but that was fun. Yeah, yeah, I think... Uh, close game, close game, but um, 
I think there were definitely some like lines here or there that we could have taken that would have um, that would have changed it, right? We're getting used to the deck. Yeah, yeah, the one misplay from the Weezing earlier, which obviously I've played against Weezing a thousand times. I should know better. Um, something about playing on the client versus playing with cards in your hand just kind of changes like your whole mentality. Like it feels less real sometimes. It feels more like a, a video game and you can kind of zonk out. Um, for some reason, when cards are in front of me, I tend to do typically a little bit better. Um, that being said, we are getting... This deck was sweet. This deck was sweet. Watu has a great list. We gotta make him proud, though. We can't can't end on that. We gotta take one of these games. You're right, Baba. That was another line too to me. We could have sacrificed. Um, of course, we didn't know that the Galarian Moltres was coming out. We were kind of playing to what was on the field, not to what was in our opponent's hand. But definitely, definitely could have been different um, if we had sacrificed something else, expecting our Mimic U. I think that's really where... Um, yeah, I, I was ahead by a prize, too. That's true, too. Yeah, and that I think that's another turn that you can look back at is um we we knocked out the Guzzlord with something else. We used like Raihan to power up something. If we had played the Mimikyu first, we could have powered up our Mimikyu and then taken the, the two that turn too. So um so yes. Yes to those things. Those are all things I would love. Okay, so I don't know if I want to burn the scoop up net early or not. Um, I said I wanted to go second, right? He asked me if I want to go first or second. I said second. Um, that's fine. It, it don't matter. Um, we might just die, though, right? Uh, I don't want to attach any energy to that. I'll say go. We'll do a ball guy here to help us get set up. Um, I guess like this wheezing is going to be tough to beat. Oh, breaking on the trainer's mail. That's not good. There's Gloria. That's a very good start as well. So where do we want to go if we do ball guy? We have the cottony so we can, um, whimsicott if we need to, although that won't matter. Oh, they didn't ascension? They didn't have the energy? That's kind of brutal. Alright, well, let's ball guy. And so, we got Whimsicott, Togepi, Clefairy, Xerneas, Flababy. We got that line, we got that line as well. And we got Tapafini. So we got all, all, the, all the gang with us. So we want Nest Ball. We want... Is there anything that's prized? I don't think so. So I don't think heavy ball is what we want either. We can grab quick ball. We can grab level ball. I think everything is gettable with those cards. So let's do that. Um, let's start with a nest ball. I think I want to get Xerneas and just get attacking. We definitely want the Flababy here, but we can get that with almost anything. Um, if we were going second, I mean, we probably would have evolved the Flababy with the ball guy. Just the evolutionary advantage that it has is pretty sweet. Let's get Xerneas. Let's go quick balling. Let's ditch an energy. Let's get the Flababy. We want full baby. I think we want more, more lol here, and then I think we save the level ball. I guess no, we level ball into Whimsicott, right? A hundred percent, and then we evolve into Whimsicott. 
And we probably just want to get the Shenotic for next turn. I think so anyway. Like maybe there's a more impactful card, but we have Scoop Up Net for this. Let's Parallel City, because our opponent played out more Mons than I think that they had hoped to. Let's get rid of something here. Getting rid of anything really off their bench here is great, especially if they're missing the Weezing from their deck. Again, I'm kind of assuming that they're missing the Weezing. They at least missed an energy. They went ahead and ditched their Guzzlord. Um, well, I mean, this is pretty good, right? We can just go here. We can retreat for free, and then we can lead. And lead is going to get us... I don't even know right now. we got so many options available to us. Uh, Bridget, Colrus, I don't think we really need. We're going to have the Shenotic going next turn. I guess we could just get like a Colrus maybe to like... Not that it's like the best card, but it's another card to draw here. And I get their draw online. Next turn, hopefully we'll have ours going. All right, there's Chaotic Swell. We're not too sad. I figured that the Chorus might maybe impede them from trying to play more on their bench. We don't really mind if they play more on their bench, though. There's Nest Ball and Level Ball. So Nest Ball. There's the Hoopa. There's another Building Spite. Here's a level ball. There's Sneasel. Lots of Pokemon, so they're getting set up. But they have failed to produce an energy on any of their turns. So, Alright, there's Lysander. We don't hate to see that. Shinodic here. Let's... Shinodic. Let's go grab Flababy. We have the rare candy in our hand, so I'm, I'm like hesitant to uh you know hesitant to want to like shuffle my hand away because I can do something pretty well next turn. Um I still think we have to though, right? Like we can't not do anything this turn. I think maybe we cannot do anything. Our opponent isn't really showing us anything. You know what? We're going to afford to do it. Um, I think we can. And let's just grab a Guzma here. I think, again, our opponent's slow to set up. We are in a very good position. We got our search Pokemon up. We got our best attacker going. Maybe we should have scooped up there for our Whimsicott. Um, Leopard's going. There's Marnie, and there's maybe consideration for us to play a supporter last turn. Yeah, I think Scoop Up for sure, too. There's the Evolution Spray, though, which is pretty good, and Bridget and In, so... Um, so interesting here to see what our opponent does with anything, if they drew energy or not. I wonder if they're sandbagging energy, too. Nope, there's the energy. They're going to ascend. All right, into Weezing. All right, so we drew the energy anyway. Um, tch, 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 tch. Heavy ball. I don't remember if we have anything. We might as well just burn it, though, I think. All right, there's the Togetic. Fairy Garden Escape Rope. It's going to have. So down to six. They're going to draw anyway. We don't really care about bridgeting too much. Let's in. Just get some good cards in our hand. There's Scoop Up Net. Max Elixir. Max Elixir only does basics, right? So, let's scoop up. Do this. Let's play Cottony. Next turn we can Whimsicott into Rare Candy, search Shenotic for Full Baby, um, maybe Cynthia into another attacker. So, very happy with this. We can go ahead and take a knockout here. Take a prize. Gladion. Okay. We know that our Fairy Garden is over here. 
so for free retreat, we're not going to be able to Brighthorn next turn. Um, we can always Guzma, right? Because Whimsicott has free retreat. Guzma out, kill something. Probably want to get rid of this Leopard because it's just drawing them so many cards. There's their energy. Spiritomb is going to be doing some work. Do we live? So 30 times 4 is 120. 130. And we're going to take 20 less. So we will just survive. There's Moltres. We want, we want to kill that. So I think I did the math right. Uh, and that should do it, right? That's going to kill us. There are... There's just so many things going on right now. It's, like, really hard to to kind of figure out what your best line is, what your best... Uh, you know, a lot of searching involved. It's not quite, like, fire smooth over every turn. But you're definitely, like, my attackers are underpowered. How do I set myself up for the best turns later on? Oh, exactsies. So sad to see that. Turn to turn. So that kind of changes things up a bit, right? There's Tapu Fina. Fini. Um, Alright, let's start with Max Elixir. Alright, Max Elixir we hit. Um, Max Elixir we hit. So, we want rare candy here. Let's do this. We want to get Florgus. Let's rare candy and the Florgus. Let's retreat here. And then I do think I just want a Cynthia. We need to draw more cards. That was a pretty slick turn. Uh, there's Super Rod, too. Knockout with Whimsicott. Yeah, right. Um, well, let's keep this thing alive for a while. I probably want to go ahead and Super Rod. Just like... In case we hit a Togetic here. We got Culverse, too. Culverse is pretty sick. Um, Alright, let's Wondershine. Get rid of that. The Glaring Moltres is kind of set up to go here. I still think we are pretty equipped pretty well to do it. And there's the Togetic, so. We can get our top, uh, not our top Fini, what's the other one? The Xerneas kind of going to here. Excited to see what happens next turn. Here's Pokegear from our opponent. And there's Cynthia, it's not too bad. The fairy deck is so sweet. I'm really enjoying this. Like Sir Marcus was saying, there's a lot of cool, like, little neat interactions going on here and there. Um, obviously, a lot of the fairy Pokemon are awesome, just kind of have some pretty good art going on with them. They're all fluffy and cute. On the opposite side over here, dark, lots of angles, lots of angry claws. You know. Resistance. Sad. Alright, so there's Bridget. I don't think we care too much about that. Let's do this. Um, I do think... We can power up Mimikyu in one turn, right? So I don't think that getting Mimikyu right now is the best. Uh, is there a reason to save the Wonder Energy? I don't think so. Maybe the reason is at some point we're going to Togekiss, potentially, and having more basic Fairy Energy in my deck is more beneficial than having this. So, you know what? I'm going to listen to that. I want to do that instead. Let's course for 8 here. 
Uh, there's Clefairy, and there's Devolution Spray. Devolution Spray is pretty fun. Right here. Might force our opponent to make a bad play on our hand here. There's another Energy. We got Raihan. Feeling pretty good. Um, not going to kill that, but we do confuse it. Obviously, it doesn't do much in the active spot. Air Balloon. Ooh, Air Balloon on Moltres? Oh, they get to jump stand in here. And then free retreat, and then come back. We have 160 HP. I wonder if our opponent knows that. We are definitely killing the Galarian Moltres next turn if we can. All right, in. Took some, oh, oh, I drew the Whimsicott anyway. Not that it would have mattered too much, right? So Whimsicott can get us, like, Guzma. If we'd like, Guzma up the Galarian Moltres, put up our Xarnias with the energy, kill it, take another prize. Um, Shinodic for Clefable. Start setting up Clefable. Um, all right, there's some more boys back in the deck. I think our opponent has kind of gotten off the Guzzlord train. We're at four prizes, so there's Field Blower. Okay, that will kill our Tapu Fini. All right, opponent's taking a prize here. We definitely want to get this Moltres out the way. Uh, definitely want to get the Moltres out the way. I think we, yeah, I think we got to. Well, there's Ordinary Rod. We only got one Pokemon in the bin. Is it worth it to get all the energy back? Uh, I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. Let's lose a cut. Yes. I would like to get one of your finest Guzmas, please. One Guzma. Um. And you know what? I think it is going to be worth it. Knock out with, with whims. If only. If only it were free. Um, the whims would probably be better in the face of the Zoroak, right? Like, maybe that's what I should have done. Um, but... I think we gotta kill this Moltres. <laughs> Muscle pan whims. Put it in the deck. You're hearing it from you guys first. Timer ball coming in right on time. God, I hate this card so much. I know why Watto's playing it. God, I hate, I hate timer ball. Tonight, I think I've, I was running through some hands earlier and I doubled tails and I was like, yep. Thank you for the reminder, Timer Ball. I now understand. Alright, Moltres is coming down again. So, not too sad now that we have Mimic you in the deck. Um, if our opponent tries to Fiery Wrath, we're just going to Shenotic, uh Mimic you, kill it. And there's Beast Ring, which will power that up. Just one energy, though. Not looking too good for our opponent here. There's Bird Keeper, which is interesting. Okay. Like, I think this is like our, our opponent's getting rid of Xerneas here. But I think the fact that we have access to Mimic you here, we're, hopefully we're not going to replay this, play this poorly this turn. 
get rid of all this wonderful energy too that our opponent has. Their their deck is pretty energy light. So Whimsicott has free retreat. Seems pretty important in the deck. Seems pretty important. All right, kill the Moltres. Take a press. All right, there's escape rope too. Escape rope seems good. So what does victory look like from here? There's energy back in the deck. Opponent has realized that he needs that to win. So my Hoopa here, Mimic U doesn't have resistance, unfortunately. So if they do retreat into Hoopa, it doesn't mean we get to kill it. And we will go kill it with Whimsicott if you guys really need me to. Fighting Fury Bell on Guzzlord. Which I think I might be too late for that. We only got two prizes, so we can definitely work our way around it. And Chorus. Right, right. <laughs> if they see the line. Now, obviously, this Weavile might be better. We have 1, 2, 3, 150. Oh, well, we're definitely going to Whimsicott. I mean, now that this just happened, we are 100% Whimsicotting Hoopa. Don't think for a second that we will not. Opponents only at five cards in their deck, too. Got to take two prizes. They're gonna, or three prizes. They're going to take one here. We'll take another one. And then... Do they have another way to... We are going to... If we... We're doing this for the, the memes, I think. Um... Yeah, so, like, obviously they might get a chance to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They might get a chance to, uh, attach counter energy. So, let's see what we got here. Twin energy. They might have double energy in their hand, so... We got resistance, so it's going to be 120, 110, minus 20. So this is just not good enough currently. This this kills us anyway, right? Because if they find another energy, this just does 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's like 120. So we're dead to like two things here. Um All right, we're we're just dead to two things. All right, we're still dead to this though, right? Like we can put this out, and we're not dead. But we're dead to something else, right? Because this does one fifty. So like, we're just dead to this, I think. One, two, th three abilities. It's one fifty. And then, yeah, so we're just we're just dead on board. Uh, well, this can only take one prize, right? So this, this is what kills us this turn. So it's doing 130, so this is the only thing that survives. But is that a winning line? Because we can't kill it on the backswing. I mean, I guess it's better to do this, right? We're not dead. We're not dead, but it's not for the memes, guys. Um, yeah, Cofable has 110. But this does 130, right? And it only has 20 resistance. So it's still dead, right? Because this has Fighting Fury Belt attached. So the only one that survives is Tapu Fini, right? Am I wrong in this? Um, I think we do nothing. Leave the hoop in the active spot here. Force them to deal with it. Obviously, Guzma beats us. They got four cards left. Guzma beats us. Um, I 
Use my verse seeker. Let's see. Let's do a check real quick. No Guzma, so we know that Guzma is in hand or somewhere. Attach the energy here, so there's Guzma. So yeah, that's that's game. GG's. Oh wait, no, we still got a chance, All right? Because this is only one prize. One prize, and then they can't. Um, they can't. What am I saying? And now they can't use the energy. Uh, although we can't get the energy now, right? Because we need that Togepi. There's Clefable. So I think we're still doomed. Um, like, obviously, we don't need these cards anymore. Bridget, timer ball, bye. Let's get the Toga Kiss. Just get out of our deck. Um, let's dream away. But this is O'Rourke, and all cards attached to it back into their deck. And there's the Hoopa. Opponents have eight cards in deck. We're getting further away from that being a viable strategy. The fairies are hurting my brain, man. This is so much thinking. Surprised that Watto can play this deck through four rounds. Like, oh, there's Guzma, right? It looks like they do see it, though. That, they get the Guzma there is pretty. Um, I think they had it last turn, right? We talked. We talked through this. Yeah. GG's, buddy. Well played. Well played. And they, had, they even had the, the Guzzlord just to, to take the two prizes. They got it all. Although when they've seen 54, I guess 53 cards minus their prize in their deck, they're going to have it. That was sweet. All the way good times, man. That was fun. All right. Dude, deck was great. Um... Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, it's got a lot going on with it. Um, you know, sweet, awesome deck. Um, no, I didn't really get a chance to use the Clefable. We didn't get to do a lot of the cool uh, attach energy from our deck kind of situations. Um, obviously, there was that time that I made the mistake with the Galarian wheezing out. Totally forgot about its ability lock. Um when I devolved the tug, uh, kiss and try to do it again, um, this card can uh, probably has a pretty high ceiling, but it, and it probably has a pretty low floor. But it seems fun all the way around, um, especially if you get those things going. Mimic U seems great in that matchup too. Um, knowing when to use this card seems key when playing fairy. Um, you're hoping that your opponent has something you can copy. Again, that first game that we played, I could have used it to copy Guzzlord's ability, and we probably would have been in a lot better shape, and it could have saved it to copy the Galarian Moltres' ability too. So this card seems just bonkers. Um, again, depending on your matchup. like I think one of the reasons why the Hitmonchan deck when I was playing against Watto was so good is like he can't copy the Hitmon combo because he didn't previously do the other attacks. So like Mimic You is a worthless card in the Hitmon Bros matchup. Uh, Whimsicott, great. The free retreat seemed really important. I think if I were going to make this deck my own, which probably won't end up happening, Watto has done a really good job with it, I might include, like, another way to retreat, just because it seemed like wanting to retreat was really important. Obviously, the fact that our opponent had Chaotic Swell, um, the majority of the games, and that Fairy Garden is an important part of this deck's, um, like ability to switch in and out of the Xerneas attacks um, 
it's definitely an issue. So maybe another tool, maybe Lusamine even, uh, you know, not sure. I'd obviously have to get more matches, and Watto has played it more than me. Trust his advice over mine. Uh, Togekiss was great. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Shenotic is just a stage one that searches out. It's your Grottle. It's just Grottle, right? Um, this deck is very similar to the Grass deck, but you're missing some of the heavy hitters, uh, like the fact that a lot of its Pokemon requires three energy to attack, although those scale with the energy, whereas these are kind of set in stone. Um, and you got your energy acceleration, too. Um, so the deck is sweet. The deck's got some really, really intricate, sweet lines. Um, yeah, I recommend it. 10 out of 10. Try the Fairy deck if you get a chance. Um, again, Watto did a great job. I'll pull up his article here again if I can do it. Here we go. Well, that didn't work either. Let's ch -ch -ch change my screen, entire monitor. Uh, here it is. Uh, check out his write-up again on the Cardboard Warriors website. He does a great job of talking about it for the YouTube video, I'll post this article up on the description. He talks about how Florgus and Togekiss are really key to a lot of it. He talks about Mimikyu being key as well. He does a really good job of laying it out um, for you um, and what you should do and cards to keep track of as we go. Like we were really, really um, big on some of our recovery cards here um, and when to play them. He kind of lays out how to do this. Um, and of course, he's got the deck list down here for you too and all his pretty sparkly cards. Yeah, yeah, Grass could definitely do something serious, uh, similar to this as well. Uh, anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you guys again for uh, for chiming in and and giving me some great tips as we play the deck. Um, fun times all around. Catch uh, Weeder and me next week. We're gonna be doing a, a webcam paper series again. GLC versus we're going to test colorless decks against the best decks in the format. Um, Weeder gets to pick which deck I'm going to be calling colorless next week. So I'm not sure what Weeder has in store for us, but I'm excited to see that as well. But anyway, thank you guys. Have a wonderful night. I will see you all next Monday. Goodbye.